Christmas tray, I always, of course, include sweets. But a few years ago, I started realizing how much I would like to be able to have a variety of more salty snacks as well. So this was a recipe that I came across and then adapted a little bit. Um, that does that, or that fits that need. Um, so let me show you the ingredients. First thing you're going to need are some hard pretzels. I use the sourdough nipplers by Snyder's. You want um, like a bag that's like a 10 to 15 ounce. This one's a 16 ounce and I probably won't use quite all of them. We'll see um, how much seasoning there is. So there's that. Then you need some oil. Then you need lemon pepper. I don't keep lemon pepper on hand but this is dried lemon rind so I use a combination of that and fresh ground pepper and I will link the recipe the recipe will be below and I'll link it as well so um, then dill weed and garlic and then if you want to alter it up a little bit you can include cayenne and onion powder okay. you'll also need a ziploc zip lock bag for this um, I have used a bowl but I find, I find it really does work better to use a for mixing it. Okay, so let's get started. So you want to take your bag of pretzels, pour it into your Ziploc bag, close it up, and you want to break these up into pieces. You can use your hands, you can use a glass or a rolling pin. I find my hands work just as well. Just be careful you don't puncture the bag. And you don't have to crush every piece um, and you're not looking to do it in really small pieces um, because you want you know you're not, not trying to do crumbs here okay so now in my bowl I have um, one and a half teaspoons of lemon pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of dill weed, and then um, I also added a half teaspoon of onion powder and about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. And to that, I'm going to add three quarters cup of oil. And you can cut back a little on the oil if you want, if that's something you're trying to watch. Um, you can cut back to about a half cup. I wouldn't go any lower than that, but I just want to get it all combined. going to add it to your bag. And like me, you have some left behind. Make sure you okay. after your pretzels are all mixed up, you're gonna put it on a pan and you're gonna bake it at 200 degrees for 50 minutes and you're going to want to and you'll want to stir it a couple times now, I have a lot of seasoning left in the bag I'm gonna take some of it out yeah. you just want to use a pan that's big enough for your pretzels to be in a single layer I'm going to bake these again at 200 for 50 minutes and then stirring about every 15 20 minutes. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to do that and then I will show you when they're done. So here's my finished pretzels. Um, now I put all the big chunks in there. You want to store it in an airtight container and they keep forever. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've had them for over a month before and they've been totally fine so there they are okay 
Some of these little crumb pieces. I don't know why they're kind of too small to eat. Well, some of them, but you know, some of these other ones are tiny to eat with my fingers. So I'm going to put them inside this little glass jar and I put them on my salads in place of croutons. They just give it a really nice flavor and get the crunch of the crouton and some great flavor. So there you go. I hope you enjoy whether you put this on your Christmas tray or just as a snack. Um, I will have more Christmas tray recipes coming so be sure to check back. Hope you enjoy!